Hi Geeks, welcome to the kenforums.com. In this video we will create a shortcut to start a specific virtual machine, open it and when finished automatically shut it down. To start with, open PowerShell ISE. You can run scripts in PowerShell even with restricted execution rights, but to be able to run the scripts from command prompt or shortcut later on, you need to change the execution rights to unrestricted. The scope current user parameter tells system that this change of rights only applies to the current user. Open the script pane. You can resize it as you wish. We will only need a simple tree line script. In the first command line, we need to tell which virtual machine we want to start. Notice that the name given for start vm commentlet has to be given exactly as it is shown in Hyper-V Manager. In this example, I will use the vm build 14.295 test. In the second command line, we will launch the virtual machine connection the process window for our virtual machine. The pipe out null parameter tells system to wait until VM connect process has been terminated before continuing with the next command. Last, we tell the system to shut down the VM when we close its process window. Script done, press F5 or select Run from Debug menu to test the script. Seems to be working. Virtual machine is starting as told in line 1. Line 2 launches the virtual machine connection window. virtual machine is up and running. The script is now waiting until we close the VM connection window and then shuts down the VM.
everything works, we can now save the script. Double-clicking the script icon opens it in default text editor. To run it, we need to use powershell.exe command with additional parameters. Let's test it in Run dialog. The command we gave opens PowerShell, which then runs the script. The first line starts the virtual machine, the second line launches the virtual machine connection window and waits until we close that window and then shuts down the virtual machine. We know now that the script and command to launch it work. Time to create a new shortcut. Lazy as I am, I copy the command from the run dialog and paste it as command line for the new shortcut. Shortcut done. We can now start the VM, open VM connection window, play with the VM and finally just close the window to automatically shut it down. A small detail missing. Running a PowerShell script opens a PowerShell window and keeps it open as long as our script is running, which can be disturbed. To hide PowerShell, when the script is run, we need a short Visual Basic script. You can find this script in video description. When run from the shortcut, this script runs our PowerShell script hiding the PowerShell process window itself. Now it's up to you. You can use both the shortcut to PowerShell script we created to run your VM with a PowerShell window open in the background or the Visual Basic script shortcut to run the VM without a visible PowerShell window. That's it geeks. Thanks for watching.